the Austrian oak. It is one of the most famous implements in the sport of strongman, and it is the next challenge at the 2022 Arnold Strongman Classic. To quote our good friend, Dr. Bill Crawford, we are on the high altar of strength here at the Arnold Strongman Classic in Columbus, Ohio. Thank you so much for being with us today, everybody. I'm Sean Woodland with Lawrence Chalet. And Lawrence, it is so good to be back in this venue at this event with these fans. Absolutely incredible. Walking around, the atmosphere is electric. People are excited to see the greatest strongman on the planet, as am I. You can see I'm absolutely pumped. Amazing day one. Let's get on with day two. I'm ready. I'm ready to flip this desk over and go <laughs> here, man. I'm fired up. Let's take a look at the overall standings after one day of competition. And it's Rob Kearney who had back-to-back second-place finishes in the first two events. He has 18 points. Alexei Novikov sits two points back in second place. Martins Litis, who came in as the favorite, still well within strike distance of the top spot on the leaderboard. He is third with 15 points, three points back of Rob Kearney. Event number three is the Austrian Oak for Max Weight. There is some strategy here on this event like there was yesterday in the back squad. Of course, you don't want to kind of go too heavy and, and, and risk. We saw that with Luke Stoltman on the squat yesterday. He needs to be smarter today. This is an event he is coming in to win. So he'll want to make sure he picks his numbers well. We may see Luke wait till a little later to get in there. But we have a lot of lifters that are going to be of a similar number. And this is going to really set us up to see who's going to take the overall later today. The Austrian Oak is a beautifully diabolical implement. And Kiki Dixon has more on that piece of equipment. This log is eight feet long. At the ends, those ropes, 22 inches in diameter. The log itself, 12 inches in diameter. The handles are 26 inches apart. This thing took six weeks to make. Terry Todd and Steve Slater collaborated on this, and Steve was so obsessed with the perfection and the beautification of this log, he lost 25 pounds. I suppose that's one way to cut weight, huh, guys? Yeah, not one I would necessarily recommend. Um, but it you know, works for Steve, so I guess good on him. What are the keys here to being successful with the Austrian Oak? Yeah, well, this, this piece of kit is truly tremendous. Steve did an amazing job with it. But these guys need to have tremendously strong shoulders and triceps. We saw the dumbbell yesterday. That's a more explosive type event. This one comes down to a strong core, big shoulders, big triceps, and obviously very good technique. They need to get that log set nice and high on their clavicle right into their chest. You'll see the guys looking straight up into the air. They need to make sure they're not blinded by the lights. Then it's all about a strong leg drive, forcing your head through and pressing out to a locked out position, waiting for the down signal from the referee. Who do you expect to do well here in event number three? Well, we've got a number of good log lifters today, but the man that stands out, the man that has performed consistently well on log lift for Max over the last year is Luke Stoltman. And after yesterday, he needs a big performance. Your event participants are on the left side of your screen. It looks like that will be the order in which they will lift with Rob Kearney coming up first. Now, Kearney's a guy who has had some success in his career lifting a log, but he does have a triceps injury that he suffered a couple years ago on this implement, and he's trying to do maybe some a little damage control here. Absolutely. Rob is a former American record holder, so he's put some seriously big numbers overhead. Unfortunately, trying to break that record, he did detach his tricep. Now he's on the way back up. So I spoke to him yesterday about the log. He wants to stay, try and remain competitive. There was a time he may be looking to win this event. Now he's looking to get fourth, fifth place and stay in the competition. The weight on the log will never decrease. Each man will have three attempts, just like they did yesterday in the one rep max back squat. Rob Kearney, your overall leader after two second place finishes on day number one. He really did have a tremendous first day as well. The dumbbell and the squat, fantastic performances from Rob Kearney. Let's see how his log is looking. That's a good solid opening lift there, very explosive. Good drive of the legs, 380 pounds going up, no problem there for Rob Kearney. 
good first attempt for our overall leader. And that will bring out Yevgeny Markov. Markov was one of the only men to not make a third attempt on the back squat yesterday. He may have started a little bit aggressively on his first lift and then missed his second. He was out. He has his work cut out for him here as he looks to work his way up the overall standings. Yeah, I think he's taking a more sensible approach today. We want to get that first rep in. The first rep, like I said yesterday on the squat, it's about establishing that confidence. Going from the platform in the warm-up area to out in front of the crowd with the bright lights, it feels different. And this first lift is really just going to settle the nerves. Three hundred eighty pounds here for Yevgeny Markov. And he will make that. Solid first lift there. Different technique to Rob Kearney. But getting the same result. Nice easy first lift for Markov. The JF Carone will be the next man up. JF won the one rep max back squat yesterday at 966 pounds, but then ran into trouble on event number two and now sits in fourth place overall. Yeah, JF has had a bit of a shoulder injury since the Rogue Invitational, which he, he actually got on the dumbbell event, so he was always worried about that one. I spoke to him this morning, and he was telling me some crazy numbers and, and watching how easily he, he did the squat yesterday. You believe those numbers for the squat, but for him to be competitive and aim to get on the podium, he needs to be performing big across the five events. So he really can't afford a bad log, a bad log lift here. He needs to make this look easy and show he's still in contention. So far, two men have gone, both Rob Kearney and Yevgeny Markov successfully lifting 380 pounds. You see as well there, JF has the sunglasses on. It's not because it's sunny inside here. Uh, the lights are quite bright and they can dazzle the athletes, which can just make them lose their balance a little, make them feel a little disorientated. So he's just got the shades on just to kind of help with that. It's not to look cool, trust me. <laughs> Although JF does look cool. I don't think anybody's going to tell him that there's a problem wearing sunglasses indoors right now. <laughs> The 380 for JF Caron. So let's see how bad this shoulder is, because if this is an issue for him, then he is really in trouble with the overall competition. Good, powerful hip drive to get the log up to the shoulders. And that will count for JF Caron. Good, solid lockout. Up next, the man who won World's Strongest Man in 2021, Tom Stolman, as we take one more look at JF Caron's last lift. So he pulls the log nice and tight into the body, drives through the hips to roll it up. Good leg drive, and then the triceps working hard to lock out. Now Stolman's going to jump up to 400 pounds for his first attempt. So one of the most impressive things I've ever seen on this log was Adrenus Viscus back in 2014, lifting 450 pounds for four reps. You know when we get up to the 450 mark, these guys are lifting big numbers, and Adrenus did that for four repetitions. And that is why he won this competition so many times. <laughs> one of the most dominant strongmen ever. And this is the first time in more than 10 years that we have not had a returning champion in the field. Yeah, we're going to be guaranteed a new champion. Ever since 2014, if you're Zadruna Zavikis, Brian Shaw, or Hathor Bjornsson, you were winning this. Here comes Tom Stolben for his first attempt. Tom's first appearance at the Arnold. The current world's strongest man. 
His log has improved a lot over the last few years. Let's see how it's looking today. Ooh. Can't quite get a, get a handle on that first see press. See that stability there, just being thrown off. And now he has it. So good recovery from Tom Stolman to get his first lift. There would have been a little bit of nervous tension there watching that and, and that first rep not going up. He would have been a little concerned. He's got the good rep now. He can relax and focus on adding weight. So one more look. Good recovery here from Tom Stolman as he missed his first press. Watch his legs here. It's just a little bit shaky. Missed time that. All these little stumbles, they start to drain your energy. So to recover from that and press this out is actually very impressive. A good save from Tom Stoltman. And that is very much what I'm talking about, going from the warm-up lifts to the contest platform. Those nerves are very real. They kick in. We may see Tom come back and do a much better second lift. Trey Mitchell will be up next, the man known as Big Tex. Trey's a very, very strong log lifter as well. He wants to put himself in contention to become the American record holder. The American record currently stands with Thompson, who's going to be the last lifter out by the looks of things. First attempt for Trey Mitchell at 400. That's that a is strong lift. A good looking lift from Trey Mitchell. He barely paused as he was bringing that log up to the shoulders. Very, very confident first lift there from Trey. When you historically look at the best log lifters we've seen, they have huge shoulders, huge triceps, big power bellies, and big, solid, strong legs. Trey ticks all those boxes. Look at that. That was a confident first lift. Maxime Boudreaux is going to go up 20 pounds. And now 420 on the Austrian Oak. It's going to be Rob Kearney is going to make his second attempt now. Kearney at 400 pounds before we go up to 420 with Maxime Boudreaux. So yeah, we mentioned this yesterday, you may see athletes coming in before other athletes take their first attempts. Second attempt now for Rob Kearney, your overall leader, after day number one. Up to the shoulders, no problem. Big, powerful leg drive. And that will count, so Rob Kearney hits 400 pounds. And Rob's changed his technique. Rob used to split jerk the log. He doesn't have the confidence in his tricep to do that right now. So he's gone, reverted back to more of a, a traditional kind of push press. But it's working well. Yevgeny Markov is getting set to make his second attempt. Take another look at Rob Kearney's successful lift at 400. Here's Yevgeny Markov at 400, his second. Clean's good. And Markov will have it. It's a good lift there. He had to work hard for that. The tricep strength, more than enough there to push the weight, hold it fixed overhead and get the down signal from Carl Gillingham. JF Carone will come back out at 400 now. Had to really work hard on the press. Not as explosive as Rob, but the tricep strength was there. Maxime Boudreau has yet to lift. JF Caron is right now listed as the next man out at 400, and here he comes for his second attempt. The interesting thing for me as well is that Lysis and um, Novikov both haven't come out yet. 
Caron will now be the third man to make his second attempt, and we still have five men who have yet to lift once. I think the real favorites on this event have to be Luke Stockman and Bobby Thompson. They've got the pedigree, they've put the biggest logs up overhead in competition. Second attempt for J.F. Caron. And that will count. Good lift there for J.F. He didn't look like he's got a tremendous amount more. Making sure of that 400. I'm not sure he's got a 20 pound jump in him. So we look at this, the clean is good. It's, the, it's coming down to the press for JF. Great leg drive, triceps having to work extremely hard there. And I'll be surprised if he can manage a 20 pound jump on that. Now Maxime Boudreau, who's there chalking up his shoulders behind JF Caron, will make his first attempt at 420 pounds. Maxime's really impressed over the last year. His log lifting is extremely good. He has some events he is absolutely world class in. A couple of events where he allows himself to drop those points. And that's a, it's a real common trait for many, many of these athletes. You go to different shows, different events, and the positions change all the time. But it's why guys like Lissis are so well respected and win so many titles. They don't have those weaker events. There's a look at the Austrian Oak. Not just terribly heavy, but just a gorgeous looking implement. There's a lot of hours of work that went into that. Maxime Boudreau making his first appearance here at the Arnold Strongman Classic. Came really close to qualifying in 2020. He was at the Arnold Strongman USA in Santa Monica. Came down to the final event and he just missed earning a qualifying spot that year. That has certainly motivated him to get here to Columbus, Ohio and compete in this event. And here he is in his first attempt, 420 pounds. And that is good for Boudreau. Good first lift there for Maxime. 420 pounds. And that will put him on top of the standings right now in this event. And we still have four men left to make their first attempts. We've had three men make two. Second look here at Boudreau's good lift at 420. See all the athletes using every bit of kit they're allowed. So they're all using the big leather belts. They've got the knee sleeves on, the elbow sleeves, the wrist wraps. These are all gonna help protect their body as much as possible and allow them to lift as much as possible, including the, the grippy tops you can see there. There's a little rubber bobbles on, to, on the top that Luke's wearing. And it just helps on the clean. It just allows the, the log to stick a little bit easier. They need tremendous hip power to drive that log from the lap up to the shoulders. And we were talking off air about the difference between a log and a barbell. Mm -hmm. A barbell, you can keep your head upright, you can look forward. The log is so, the, the diameter of the log forces you to look up in the air, and that's why it's so much harder. You'll see incredible weightlifters come and try a log and really struggle because of the implement. 420 now for Luke Stoltman looking to tie Maxime Boudreau. This is Stoltman's first attempt. So I'm interested in seeing this. Luke had a great year on the log last year. He's chasing that world record. Let's see what kind of shape he's in with his first lift here. 420 pounds. Wow. Oh, just a little stumble there. But the speed that he got the log from the shoulders up to lockout, he looked very comfortable. Luke Stolman with a successful lift and like his brother struggled a little bit but was able to, to correct the mistake and he is tied for the lead now with Maxime Boudreau. 
You could see the power was there. He's just got to get used to the flooring, used to the environment. Look how quickly he gets it to the locked out position. Just a little stumble. I think he's going to come back and make that second rep look a lot better. We saw that with JF yesterday. JF on the squat, his first rep was exceptionally easy, but there was a little bit of wobble in the knees. His next rep, he came back and, and it looked even easier. Alexei Novikov will be out next to go at 420. Comes in in second place overall. Trails Rob Kearney by two points. So depending on what happens in this event, Alexei Novikov could find himself on top of the overall standings. But remember, Martins Litis is only three points back of Rob Kearney, and he may have something to say about that as well in this event. These are big weights that these guys are jumping in at. 420 pounds. This is not far off Novikov's PB. We saw how impressive he was on the dumbbell yesterday. Let's see if that explosive power crosses over onto the log. And this crowd is definitely behind this man, Alexei Novikov, first attempt at 420. Nice clean, needs to get stable. And no problem. Move. Great reaction from the crowd again. The real battle for this log is between Novikov and Lissis in terms of the overall score. There's a good opening lift there for Novikov. Now a three-way tie for first place in this event right now. Maxime Boudreau, Luke Stoltman, and Alexei Novikov have all successfully lifted for 20. And now here comes the Dragon, Martins Litsis, up for his first attempt at 420. Now if there was one event I could see guys getting a few extra points on Lissis, it's the log. I expect him to almost be top three on every single event. This is the one event that a couple of guys can beat him. Let's see what kind of shape he's in. He always manages to bring his best when it counts. You know, when you mentioned how he really has no weakness, his MO at the Rogue Invitational, he didn't win an event until the final one, but everything else was inside the top three, top five, and that's what allowed him to be in position to win that competition. And so far, he's finished third in the first two events. Plenty of people on hand to cheer him on. I'm sure if he finished third on every single event, but he won overall, he'd be very happy. First attempt, Leetzi's at 420. So let's see how Leetzi's log lift is looking. And that is good. Oh. Great first lift there by Martins Lysis, 2019 World's Strongest Man. He's been second here at the Arnolds before he wants to take this title. It's the one title he hasn't yet won. He looks well prepared. And that leaves Bobby Thompson as the only man who has yet to lift. Take another look at Martins' successful lift at 420. Tom Stoltman is going to be back out on the floor now for his second attempt at 420. So Bobby Thompson is going to sit and wait for at least another lift. Bobby clearly feeling confident in the warm-up lifts. So this is a very important lift for Tom. He didn't have a good first. They actually thought he did well on the squat. I never expected him to get big points on the squat, but he maximized his performance on there. The dumbbell cost him. He cannot afford to miss this lift. Stolman looking to tie for the lead with Boudreaux, his brother, Alexei Novikov, and Martins Litsis. Second time out on the floor for Tom, 420 pounds on that Austrian oak.
Clean is good. Let's see what the press is looking like. Oh, and that, that one looked like, better than the first. That's more like it from Tom Stoltman. The first lift we questioned. Tom coming back like the champion he is there. Very, very impressive on his second attempt. 420, moving much more like a warm up. And he only has one attempt remaining. As we have had four men go through two of their three lifts. He was just rock solid in the foot de department this time. There was no stumbling. Big, big difference in terms of the overall performance on the log there. Rob Kearney is going to be up next for his third and final lift. Alexei Novikov and Martins Litsis, the two men directly behind him in the overall standing, still have two lifts remaining, so they could make up some big points on Rob in this event. Yeah, Rob will be frustrated because this was at one time his favorite event. He said he's going to be damage control this time round. 420 pounds is still a, a huge weight. It wasn't that long ago this was the world record. When I first got into the sport, this type of weight was the world record. Now, almost every athlete is lifting it. Final attempt for Rob Kearney. Come on, and Rob. And he has it. There we go. He's happy. A great way to finish up this event for Rob Kearney here. The great thing to hear there is that he's happy. That's so important. It's not always about winning and placing first. You've got to be proud of your own performance. He would have had a game plan coming into this. Day one has been absolutely perfect for Rob. Yevgeny Markov is now going to make his third and final attempt. 420 still on the lock. And Markov just not able to press that out. And comes up gimpy there. Looks like he's grabbing at his left leg, and he is not going to make another attempt. So Markov will wind up with a score of 400. Hopefully nothing too bad. It looked like he jarred his knee a little. These huge weights, it's a very fast, explosive movement, that knee dip. If you time it wrong, it can be quite painful. Hopefully it's nothing more than that. The J.F. Carone will be up next for his third and final attempt. Now, Bobby Thompson has yet to lift. Carone will be the third man to close out his event here. Take a look at Yevgeny Markov. Yevgeny, the 2020 Arnold Amateur Champion. That's how he got his invite to this show. It is a big step up when you're going from the amateur level to competing on the pro scene. He's a great athlete. I've seen him do very well in some shows. But when you come to this level, everyone's a monster. Every single athlete, their weakest events, they're still good and high level athletes. This will be a good learning experience for Markov as he will He's gonna get go back away to work and come for the rest back. of the season. Absolutely. First time competing at the Arnolds, it is a learning curve. Here's J.F. Carone, third and final attempt for him, 420 pounds on the log. J.F. needs this. Come on, come on. Oh, and Carone grabbing his right knee as he went That's down. Not That's not good. And let's hope he's okay as Rob Kearney looks on hoping that JF is going to be all right, but that just did not look good for JF Carone, who crumbled under that log. He went down fast. That, to me, looks like a patella issue, potential quad tear. We'll hope that JF Carone is all right, but he will have a final score of 400 pounds. That's something you just don't want to see. 
We are ready to resume action here at the 2022 Arnold Strongman Classic. We are in the middle of event number three. Sean Woodland and Lauren Chalet here with you. Thanks so much for staying with us through that break, everybody. Just want to get you updated on what has been going on. JF Carone had to get helped off the competition floor. He was able to give the fans here uh, a thumbs up as he exited. He will not be able to compete for the rest of the competition, and we certainly wish him all the best. We are in the middle of event number three. It is the Austrian Oak for Max Weight. Now the big question is, how do these men handle the sizable delay that we have just been through? Because Bobby Thompson was just about ready to go out and make his first attempt. Yeah, obviously this is a tough situation to, to be in, but these are professional athletes, and I know JF personally, he will want these guys to get on with this competition. He's one of the toughest men I've met. He'll be back, but we need to get on with the show. And it's going to be tough. Some of the guys will cope with the pressure of this better than others. There, there is talk backstage of people saying, oh, you know, the, the event should be scrapped. JF doesn't want that. We don't want that. We want to see the best man go on to win. So it's coping with those nerves, making sure you're still trying to stay warm. 45-minute delay is not ideal, but they need to stay calm. They need to focus on what they need to do. The weight on the log is now 440. We have had six men successfully lift 420 pounds, and we've had three men all make their three attempts. Luke Stoltman was one of the six men who has hit 420 pounds. His brother Tom also lifted 420. And this one looked better than his opening lift at 400 pounds. Alexei Novikov, his opening attempt was at 420. The man who sits in second place overall coming into this event made this look pretty easy. Martins Litsis, he currently sits in third place overall. This was his first attempt. He also opened it 420 pounds. And Maxime Boudreau is through one attempt. He hit 420 as well. And then overall leader Rob Kearney, who is done with this event, his third and final attempt was at 420 pounds, and he was extremely happy with this lift. And we are set to resume competition. Bobby Thompson, as Rob Kearney looks on, is now getting to the floor for his opening attempt at 440 pounds. So Bobby's had to make sure he's kept warm backstage. And this is kind of, you know, it's a distracting thing to have to go through. The athletes sort of plan their, their jumps that they're going to make backstage. But you can't wait 45 minutes to an hour between lifts. So he's had to go back, do a couple of lifts. Let's see what headspace he's in and how this log is looking. 440 pounds, this is 200 kilos. Opening. The first attempt for Bobby Thompson. It's up to the shoulders, no problem. And that is easy. Great solid lift there. Bobby Thompson proving he is here to log lift. He said, when you're talking about log lift, you're talking about Bobby Thompson. He's showing us there. And as we said earlier yesterday, to kick things off, we heard from the athletes as they talked about the different events, and Bobby Thompson said, well, event three, it's a log, and I'm Bobby Thompson. So we know he expects to do extremely well in this event. So opening attempt for Bobby Thompson is good at 440. One more look at that. And there is Arnold Schwarzenegger, who is on hand to watch things here. Still looks like he could get out there and compete. <laughs> Trey Mitchell will be the next man up. This will be his second attempt. He made 400 earlier, and he is going to go after the 440-pound log. Trey's open at 400, looked very comfortable. 40-pound jump. I 
I think he can do it. He's ready. Arnold thinks Come he can on, do let's it. Let's help out Trey. I think Trey can do it. Come on, Trey. And Mitchell yes. locks yes. it out. Yes, he gets it. I told you. I told you. <laughs> well done. You got to let the Austrian out in front of the Austrian out. Trey Mitchell nailed it. Now, Trey Mitchell in Trey front of Arnold Schwarzenegger, governor. and he gets congratulated by the Austrian Oak. It's got to be a career highlight for Trey Mitchell right there. If you're uh, someone involved in the Iron Game, we've all seen Schwarzenegger's performances from the past. Inspired many, many lifters, many, many people. Many people just to get involved in fitness, period. Whether it's strongman or powerlifting, CrossFit, whatever it is. There's D. Snyder. Well, everyone front man of now. Twisted Sister. We got a cast of characters here. So we've had two men successful at 440 pounds. There is that Austrian oak. If you heard Kiki Dixon talking about that earlier when we started this event, Steve Slater was in charge of putting this uh, implement together and making sure that it was not only something that tested these athletes, but something that was pleasing to the eye. And he lost to 25 pounds stressing over the construction of the Austrian oak. I think he did a fantastic job. Here comes Maxime Boudreau for his second attempt. He was good at 420 on his opener. He'll make an attempt at 440 pounds. And I think Maxime's going to get this. His log lifting's been impressive. His opener was solid. He looks bigger than I've seen him before as well. He's packing on some size. Good clean. Just needs to stabilize. Lots of power out of those legs. And then Boudreaux just stumbles with that now. Able to save oh, it, but... Too much. He's going to compose himself, give him another attempt. But... I've got to say, that just looked heavy. Arnold Schwarzenegger looking on as Maxime Boudreau will make a second attempt. Maxime, countryman to JF, maybe letting things affect him a little bit more than he would. Just not able to get it. Not but today. Boudreau will wind up with 420 pounds as he bows out on his second attempt. I've definitely seen Maxime do better than that on the log before, but... You know, we've got to cope with these situations. He'll be disappointed there. That will bring up Alexei Novikov for his second attempt at 440 pounds. Now, this is the interesting battle. This is there. He's staying cool. Novikov, if he can get us this, this is a big log lift for Alexei Novikov. 200 kilos, 440 pounds. I saw him hit 420 at Europe's Strongest Man last year. He failed the 440. We were talking about it earlier. Novikov is just trying to stay close right now to Martins Leites. If he hits that lift, it'll go a long way towards helping him achieve that. Yeah, absolutely. His tactics are stick with Lissis. He doesn't need to beat him. He needs to tie with him. That's got to be the tactics that he's using for this show. He's ahead overall, only a slim lead, one point. But he'll want to remain that one point ahead going into event number four. And he was only two points back of Rob Kearney for the overall lead, and Kearney is done with this event. His score was 420 on his third and final attempt. Huge cheers for Alexei Novikov every time he comes out to lift. Second attempt at 440 for Alexei Novikov. Excellent clean there. Has he got the power to punch this overhead? And there it is, almost. Oh, he doesn't get it. Doesn't he was it so close. 
Couldn't quite keep it stable. Referee's hand did not come down. Oh, I thought he had that. He knows make another attempt here. One more attempt. The clean was very, very efficient. Got it straight up to the shoulders, no problem at all. Didn't waste energy. It was good power from the legs, just couldn't quite hold it locked out. And now that energy level is just drained. It's not going to happen. Great effort. Novikov thanking the crowd. Now his final score will be 420, which ties him with Rob Kearney. So that's good news with Kearney. And it's great news for Martins Litsis, who still has two attempts remaining. And he will be up next, going for 440. This is a huge lift. If Lysias gets this, he knows he's in the driving seat. He doesn't need to worry about the overall win on this event. This is his battle here. Get ahead of Novikov, get ahead of Rob Kearney. Lift number two for Litis here at 440. This is to tie Trey Mitchell and Bobby Thompson. And Leeds has it. it. Great lift there from the 2019 World's Strongest Man. Martins Leeds is 440 pounds. And Martins Leeds hits his second lift. And now the question is how many points will he be able to pick up on Novikov and Kearney? This was a great lift. He looks like he's got more in the tank. Tom Stoltman will be out next. This will be his third and final lift. And he will try to tie for the lead at 440. Tom's second lift was so much better than that first. The keys for Tom here are balance. He needs to make sure he's clean as efficient. He doesn't want to be stumbling around. If he can keep those feet firmly planted to the ground, apply maximum force through those legs, drive hard with the shoulders and triceps, he can get this lift. And if he does, that helps Lisi's even more. The more men that can hit this weight, the more points that Lisi's will be able to pick up. Well, watching Lisi's last ahead lift, he looks like he's got more still. It didn't look max effort. Tom Stoltman at 440. He'll be thinking, if Tom can get this, and I can go a little heavier. And just not able to press it out. Right back to work. Now he's going to think twice about it and take a break. I think that's the right thing. Just take a moment, recompose. Needs a little bit more power out of those legs this time. Needs to really drive. Just can't get it overhead, but is able to keep it at the shoulders. But now the log is down again. And I don't think we'll see it now. He's going to try a third time, but it's extremely rare that we see someone lift after failing once, never mind twice. Third attempt here on this weight. Stoltman just doesn't have enough. So three solid attempts at 440. Tom Stoltman will have a final result of 420 pounds. We still have Trey Mitchell, Luke Stoltman, Leetzies, and Thompson still alive here. So Tom, very powerful on the clean here. Just didn't look like he got enough out of his legs on that first attempt, requiring his shoulders and triceps to work that little bit harder, which is going to fatigue you quicker. It's really important to get that first attempt spot on. You don't want to waste energy. And obviously we saw there three attempts. He's draining more and more energy for the whole competition. I 
I love it. I am so happy that we are back again. You know, when the coronavirus hit us two years ago, we said, we'll be back. And we are back. And so I'm so delighted that we have the world's strongest man here, that we have all the thousands of fans here. We want to say thank you to Rogue for being the sponsor of this event. Thank you to the athletes for doing such an incredible job and for inspiring us. Thank all of you. Thank you. Arnold Schwarzenegger, ladies and gentlemen, are you not entertained? Are you ready to see some more weights lifted? Maxime Boudreaux is back out. Failed his first time at 440. And this will be his third and final attempt. Yeah, the athletes get three attempts. He's allowed to come back and attempt this weight once again. He needs to get this right first time. He was close the last time. He's had a good break. We'll see if he can get 440 this time. Really needs to use the legs. And Boudreaux just cannot lock it out. Fraction low there, just needed it an inch higher to allow himself to press that weight out. It's that point that's just right there at about 90 degrees, and if you can get past it, you can, you're usually home free, and he just got stuck right there. Alexei Novikov, who also failed at 440, will make another attempt for his third and final lift. He was very, very close on that first attempt. And in, the, in terms of the whole competition, this is just make or break now. If he fails this, he knows the chances are going to be slim of catching this. Is. The frame carry and then the stone to shoulder are the two events remain. He's a good frame carrier, but he's had issues with grip strength. And there's no straps on this frame this year, so he'll want to be as close as possible after this log lift event. He'll believe he has a chance on the frame, but going on past performances, this is has the better performances. And then it'll come down to that stone. How much do you want it? Alexei Novikov, 440 pounds. Failed on his first try. This will be his second and final attempt. He's the kind of lifter that can come back and get this. We saw it do yesterday in the dumbbell, missing a rep and then coming back with a good one, and Novikov oh. just isn't going to be able to get it. But yesterday during that dumbbell for Max reps, he got seven good repetitions, actually failed on his seventh attempt, came back and got his seventh good rep on his eighth attempt. It really was a tremendous performance. And the way the organizers of the Arnolds select these events, starting off with a squat for Max, that's draining that leg power. He's a very explosive athlete. He went on, hit seven reps, as you say, on the dumbbell. I think that fatigue is starting to catch up. His legs look tired on that attempt there. Well, Luke Stoltman will be making his second lift, and he's increasing the weight on the log. He's going up to 450. So like I said earlier, 450 pounds. This was the weight in 2014 as Druna Saviskas, probably the greatest log lifter ever, hit four reps in competition. Luke was chasing Zadrunas' record last year, got very, very close to breaking it. He's proven he's one of the best log lifters. He needs to make this go up. Luke Stolman also making his first ever appearance at the Arnold Strongman Classic, along with his brother, his younger brother, Tom. Yeah, two brothers competing in the Arnolds, two brothers that have competed in World's Strongest Man final together. What an incredible family. A 450 now for Luke Stoltman. His first successful lift was at 420, so a 30 pound jump here for the Highland Oak. The 
There's his brother Tom looking on. When you think about the ideal shape for log lifting, look at this man, huge legs, big thick midsection, huge shoulders, huge triceps. He has all the things needed to put massive weights overhead. This for the lead, 450. Very efficient on the clean there. 450 pounds. And Stoltman and has it. There we go. Luke Stoltman enjoying himself now at the Arnold Classic. Day one did not go to plan, but he's starting day two strong. 450 as his second lift. What's he got left? Rob Kearney in the background there was applauding that effort. This is picture perfect. Absolutely spot on. Elbows and wrists in line, drives the head through for the lockout, and you can just see the confidence oozing out of him there. Talking things over with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Luke Stolman, your new leader by 10 pounds, 450 on his second lift. And now Bobby Thompson will come out and try to tie Luke Stoltman. Thompson was the last man to get out there on the competition floor. He opened at 440 and made it look pretty easy. Bobby's opener looked very solid. This is only a small jump up. I expect this to go up no problem. Bobby Thompson to tie Luke Stolman at 450. And again, a very solid clean. And that goes up no problem. <laughs> Bobby Thompson looking very powerful there on the log. Can these two men push up to something crazy? The American Nightmare with two really good lifts here. Look at that. Excellent execution. Great power off the legs and hips. Solid triceps to lock out. And he walked away like a man that's focused. Trey Mitchell will be out for his third and final lift. And Big Tex is going up to 460. Mitchell, another man who's making his first appearance here at the Arnold Strongman Classic. Last year he won the Shaw Classic, two place back in August. Four hundred sixty pounds for Trey Mitchell. This for the lead. We are looking at serious numbers now. Needs to get it sat right, right in tight to the throat. The head will be looking straight up to the ceiling. Needs to dip and drive hard with the legs and hips. He's got this, press it through. And Mitchell oh, trying to on. stabilize. Stabilize, lock out, hold it. He has it. He gets the down signal. Great save from Trey Mitchell, and he is your leader right now as Bobby Thompson may have something to say about that. He has one lift remaining. That was a fabulous lift. He had to work hard. He hit it perfectly, but just lost that line. Had to fight hard to stabilize overhead. Referee gave him the down. Congratulations there from Evan Singleton, another incredible strong man on the scene. He will want to get to the Arnolds next year. But that moment there. One more look at it. Everything looked great until that wobble at the top, and what a fight from Trey Mitchell. I thought he was gonna lose it at one point. He just managed to step forward. 
Look at this, it was strong, but that's wobble back, and then he fights hard, gets his head through, momentary pause, and the referee gave him the down signal. And the belt goes flying. <laughs> Luke Stoltman, for his final attempt, he's going up to 470. Martins Leitzis and Bobby Thompson are the two men who have yet to make their third attempts here. This will be the third attempt for Stoltman. And it'll be interesting to see if Lissis is planning a third lift. He's done what he needs to do on this event. We talk about how consistent he is. So we've got Luke Stoltman there, just eating a cereal bar, just keeping his energy levels up. Works with a nutritionist, works with a coach. These guys take everything very professionally these days. Long gaps between lifts, long gaps between events. They're just trying to snack on food, make sure they keep those energy levels as high as possible throughout the day. So we just got word our team pieces has actually passed on his third attempt. That means he will get more than 40 pounds. So there will be two Take a look at Arnold Schwarzenegger. We just heard from Matt Eisman, the floor announcer, that Leeds has elected to pass on his final attempt. So as you said, he has done enough here because the two men he was chasing are Novikov and Kearney, and he has bested them by 20 pounds. So Leitzis might wind up at least in second place here, possibly first. Meanwhile, we have to take care of Luke Stoltman's final lift, who successfully lifted 420 on his opening attempt and then moved up to 450 and hit that. This is Trey Mitchell with our best lift so far at 460 and he really had to fight that log overhead to make it count. Down signal from the referee and look at what it means to him. All these athletes want to be on the Arnold stage proving they belong here. They might not be the best at every single event but each one of these is a world-class athlete and they will have individual events they want to prove how strong they are. They want to show everyone what they are capable of. And you see there what it meant to Trey Mitchell. And this man as well, Luke Stoltman, very, very disappointed in his first day. He wanted to come in with a big squat. He performed well on the dumbbell, but he still felt he was capable of better. This is the one event he sees himself as the best in the world at. Can he prove it today? 470 for the lead, and remember, Bobby Thompson, since Leitz has passed, is the last man after Luke Stoltman to go. So one thing to remember, people watching back home may say these guys have done more than this in the gym, we've seen them lift more. Let's remember this is after a squat for Max. It's after the dumbbell for reps. Their legs are tired. Hathor Bjornsson there with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Hathor's lost so much weight, he looks like quarter Thor. <laughs> he looks great. He looks totally different. He was here with us yesterday, and he's ready to go with that matchup he has with Eddie Hall coming up later in the month. But now it's Luke Stoltman at 470. Four seventy for the lead for Luke Stoltman. This is to put himself back into first place on the log lift and climb up the leaderboard with some big points. Efficient clean as always from Luke. And, and no wow, that was problem. The, best of the three lifts we've seen from the Highland Oak, Luke Stoltman. He looked like he had plenty more. And he is fired up, and rightfully so, because right now he stands to win this event. But remember, the American Nightmare. Maybe trying to shatter that man's dreams as Bobby Thompson has one lift remaining. That was the best of the three lifts we've seen. Look at this. Everything perfect. The feet are steady on the floor. They don't move. Perfect clean. Drives hard with the legs. 
faultless lift there. Rooted to the floor, good extension through the ankles, hips are powerful, legs were powerful, strong through the core, strong in the triceps. Absolutely spot on there from Luke Stoltman. Well, Bobby Thompson is going to jump up 10 pounds for his final lift. This will be the final lift of this event. And it will be for the win. Thompson finished ninth overall the last time he was, he was here at the Arnold Strongman Classic. That was in 2020. Then he was ninth at the 2021 World Strongest Man. I'm not 100% sure, but I think this could be an American record that Bobby's going for right now. I know it's close to this type of number. Personal record attempt, so that's making me think this is the American record. Four hundred eighty pounds for Bobby Thompson. For a personal record and the event win here as he looks to beat Luke Stoltman by ten pounds. Just using the chalk there, making sure the hands are as dry as possible. He wants everything to be perfect. Tilts the log into the position. Bobby Thompson, as the crowd comes to his feet, for the event win. You can just feel the chills. This crowd is going to raise Bobby's level. He's a confident man. He believes in his log lifting abilities. Can he get this? It's up to the shoulders. Struggling with it, it just doesn't have it. So close there. Second attempt won't go. He was so close on that first attempt. One more try for the win. But Thompson doesn't have it. And that means that Luke Stoltman is going to win this event at 470 pounds. Trey Mitchell will finish in second. Thompson will take third. Martins Lietzis, another top five finish in fourth. That consistency that we talk about, but that's the man when it comes to the log lift today. Luke Stoltman winning a max log lift once again. Great to see the Highland Oak soaking up this experience, competing at the Arnold Classic for the first time, winning the Austrian Oak. The Highland Oak conquers the Austrian Oak and picks up his first event win here of the competition. That will help him in the overall standings as we have just two events remaining. One more look at the lift that won it for Luke Stoltman at 470. And for me, this really was the best lift of the competition. He saved his best for the third attempt. Absolutely perfect technique there. He looked like he had plenty more. Kiki Dixon is with the Highland Oak. Luke, first time with Arnold Strongman Classic, iconic yeah. event. Pumped crowd, huge crowd. You've got the icon here himself, yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger, <laughs> cheering you on. How do you handle those nerves? Wow, um, the first first attempt was a little bit sketchy. I've dreamt for a decade of being on this stage, of lifting the Austrian Oak in front of Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's one of the most memorable experiences I've ever had in the sport. That was incredible. And fair play to Bobby Thompson, he went for the win. I was worried because that boy is a nightmare. He is an American nightmare and he is super strong. So my heart goes off to him and all the other guys. You know, a special shout out to Alexei Novikov who's here battling through what's going on in his country. It's absolutely amazing. Big love to all the Ukrainian people. 
I'm so happy to be here representing Scotland. It's amazing. I'm, I'm almost emotional because that meant so much to me. I have the strongest shoulders in the world and I just proved it there. Yes, you did. Now, obviously, it's no secret that you are one of the all-time greatest with this implement. But what is your secret to getting that weight up? I don't know. <laughs> I think it's just something inside me that just makes me want to do something truly spectacular. And I think that what I just did there was very spectacular. Um, you know, I think about my mum. She's not here with us, so I need to do her proud. I need to do the Scottish people proud. And it's just, it gets me. You know, I'm an emotional guy. I always wear my heart on my sleeve. And I love this sport. This is, this is my job, and it's the most insane feeling in the world. I love this. Well, this sport loves you too. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. There are definitely a lot of proud Scots right now after watching Luke Stoltman win this event. 470 pounds. Trey Mitchell will take second. Bobby Thompson had the winning weight almost over his head, but he's going to settle for third at 450. And Martins Leeds, he's doing what he does. Finishes inside the top five yet again. Rob Kearney, good enough for a tie for fifth with Novikov and Boudreau. Overall standings now. Rob Kearney is still your overall leader, but only a half point ahead of Martins Litsis, who leapfrogs Alexei Novikov for second place. Novikov now sits in third, and Luke Stoltman rocketing up the overall standings. He sits in fourth place overall, a half point ahead of Bobby Thompson. Three events are down here at the Arnold Strongman Classic. We have two remaining. Luke Stoltman, the Highland Oak, conquers the Austrian Oak. A lot more to come here. Stay with us, everybody, at the 2022 Arnold Strongman Classic.